Okay, I wanted to do one additional follow-up video on all this uh, recording settings, you know, video quality, video encoder uh, presets and, and all that stuff with a little bit of an emphasis on HDR since we've got, uh, you know, HDR becoming more and more prevalent. It's not fully supported in OBS but there are definitely some ways to kind of uh, work with it and, and record it. I, I'm still figuring this out as I'm editing my first few videos in HDR for the uh, PS5 walkthrough and I've got a, probably two or three series and, and some videos that I'm gonna like, uh, you know, one-off uh, guides and, and location videos that I'm gonna show. Uh, yeah, got a lot of content planned there, but one man show here. So, you know, it's a very slow process at the moment. Okay, so um, when I released the videos just a few days ago, I mean, they'll, they'll all be, you know, uh, late November. Uh, oh, you can't see that. <clears throat> late November, is, today's the 20th. I think the last few videos for war from the 18th 19th um 2020 november and i guess that's a good reference frame too uh if you see this in the future but yeah um okay so let me just get into it without any more shenanigans so this is a video clip uh let's see is that okay the encode's doing okay with that um so this is when I've got the HD capture utility open and I'm recording uh, like I would be recording here with the uh, 4K Pro. I've now re renamed it. This was originally just 4K Pro, 4K60 Pro. I've now renamed it to SDR. <clears throat> and then I've now added this uh, additional source, which is NDI. Uh, using the stream like now there are some resources to set up ndi and I'll, I'll probably leave a link for that set up for yourself i'm not going to go through it uh here in this video but i've set that up so actually uh, let's see if i turn it off it's, it's not even on right now so you're just going to see actually this uh camera the the 4k just pass through that's that obs is able to pick up as a recording device uh, so that's that setting with it was just this recording and so if you go ahead and do let's see this is with so that was with the stream oh what is this oh yeah yeah, yeah. I, I did have some issues with this one um, this is with the HDR to SDR uh, enabled so but, uh, forgive the video for being laggy. I'll, I'll minimize this. It's not actually lagging. It's just the video lagging. Um, okay, I'll, I'll close this. But uh, so this one, I mean, you can even see just from the thumbnail, maybe. I don't know. Do they get any larger? I, I don't. I don't remember. Oh, wait, yeah. extra large icons. Uh, that's as big as they get, but uh, I don't have my settings set up perfectly for the automated zoom in and all that in just yet. Uh, and anyway, so this is with capture utility open, capture utility open with uh, HDR stream link set up. And this is with capture utility off. And I've just got it labeled as SDR, but basically this will capture uh, if you've got HDR. Uh, oh, while I'm here, I just wanted to address this. <laughs> Sorry to jump so quickly, but yeah. So one thing is that uh, if you record on your system, it's going to record in it. Uh, you know what? I'll actually come back to this. It's going to record in WebM, but I'll, I'll come back to that. Uh, I, I want to try and keep this one shorter if I can, I, although it's already seeming like a, a bit of a longer one. Uh, what was I trying to do? I don't remember. Let's see. Oh yeah. Um, so if you have HDR on, 
it will kind of, I don't know if it's perfect, but it will kind of pass it through and then you can definitely like uh, kind of tone map and, and apply a LUT uh, in video editing or, or whatever if you'd like to, <clears throat> excuse me, if you'd like to. I'm drinking a hard cider at the moment, so <laughs> excuse the uh, suppressed burp there. Mm. I'll use that as an excuse to take a sip. So yeah, if you have HDR on, it will kind of give you HDR. I don't think it's exactly 100% perfectly tone mapped because it's not fully supported in OBS Studio. And if you turn it off, you'll kind of lose signal for a few seconds and then you'll come back and have H uh, SDR. So that, that works fine. So if you just want to ignore all this crap, don't want to deal with the complexity of HDR, just turn this off and you'll have no issues. And so if you do HDR or SDR and just record like this, then the main video talking about all the uh, rate control recording and all that is going to apply perfectly for you. Now, if you are doing HDR and you wanted to use HDR through uh, the capture utility, you I, I, I can't show it perfectly because I'm already at 40% encode, but I couldn't even encode uh, even at, at normal quality or, or normal high quality. So that mean, or that meant for me that I actually had to go all the way down to low latency quality just to record without lagginess. And I was at around 90% video encode. Again, this is on an NVIDIA 2080 Super. So, you know, your results might vary slightly depending on your chip die, what, essentially what card you have. Uh, and I think for the 30 series, the encoders roughly this is is, is essentially this is unchanged as the same seventh generation encoder. So you're not going to do all that much better unless maybe on the 3090. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so those are the settings for HDR. That's going to be uh, CQP. Q, CQ level, whatever you want it. I actually tuned it a little bit further and, and dropped it down a little two more notches to 22. Low latency quality is going to take you to 90% without this second recording. So watch if I hit record, it's it's going to start lagging. Um, actually, no, sorry, it's not going to start lagging because I haven't opened the capture utility. But watch this. As soon as I open the capture utility, I'm going to turn this off for the moment. Uh, it is going to jump up. Okay, look at that. Yep, we're lagging. So I'm going to stop that recording. But you'll also be able to see this. Uh, am I still at 90? No, okay, it's dropping. You'll also be able to see this. Uh, here's with the Elgato uh, utility open, uh, allowing this NDI uh, stream to kind of come through. And then that's the difference with uh, when you open this, it'll actually affect the video quality if you just have this set up as a camera without this NDI. So again, I'll, I'll link to this, how to set that up. And so essentially this uh, view is what this video is. This view is what this video is. Yeah, yeah, hopefully the difference is kind of showing you. You definitely do have a bit better dynamic range here. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this, watch how this, see how that kind of just is different than both of those? That is actually this video. So, and actually, I, I kind of like this the best. Oops, I accidentally hit a little toggle. I had a macro key on my on my mouse. Um, oh yeah, that was just a few seconds, but but you can see the the difference. It, it's a little, I think a little bit higher dynamic range than this. So, I mean, that would make sense. This would essentially be SDR convert, converted back from HDR. So you could play in HDR, enjoy HDR, and then record in SDR using the capture utility, having that open at the same time, the 4K capture. <laughs> if you have the utility open and then you just have the 
uh, 4K60 Pro or whatever you recording device set up, you're gonna get this result. I mean, I'm assuming for Elgato, I'm not sure for the Aver Media or, or other utilities. And then if you just ignore that thing completely, you, you'll have less taxing uh, because like I said, to record with HDR on, on the Streamlink NDI, I have to have this lower setting of uh, low, lat low latency quality uh, as opposed to max quality when I record simply with this 4K60 Pro SDR, meaning that I have the, the 4K utility off. And the reason that is, is because the 4K utility actually has some processing that it has to do and it's basically mapping hdr it's basically tone mapping for obs in the background with that uh, little additional add-on that you've installed into obs into the system files uh, again link will be in the description for that this probably went on a little bit longer than i wanted but uh, i just wanted to touch on that because those are some issues that i've been having oh and now that I'm remembering that, let me go back to the last thing I was going to bring up, which is the video clip. So if you need to record videos without a capture card, ew, you're going to be in a tough spot because I had a really hard time figuring out not only how to convert these WebM files maintaining the HDR content. If you don't maintain the HDR content, it's a pretty straightforward. Just find a decent WebM converter. That's also somewhat involved, but you know, FFmpeg, Handbrake, which I recently discovered. I've, I've always known about it, but I never really had a use for it. So I've just kind of learned and discovered that. But when you got HDR and 4K, it's it's a little bit more involved. You know, do you do it in H.265 or H.264, 10-bit? Anyway, uh, that's I want to get into that in this video, but you 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 should be able to set up a handbrake uh, <clears throat> easily enough. I have a handbrake nightly and handbrake to uh, transcode those videos uh, into MP4 or whatever you need to for your video editing if you want to, or just you can upload it straight to video if or uh, YouTube or whatever. If, if you've kind of set your thing up nicely or however you want. Uh, obviously, I need to add my audio and all those other things. So that's why I need to edit it in a video editor, which I use DaVinci Resolve. So, yeah. Um, but one tip is if you have a capture utility, like at the 4K60 Pro Mark II or whatever, even if lower resolution, you can always record just, you know, on your PS5. Let's say you're, you're not, I've been traveling a lot recently. Um, not like globally, but I've uh, had to go or move, uh, relocate temporarily for business and stuff. Um, and I've taken my setup with me so I can do some stuff on the side. And so, you know, I wasn't always able to set up uh, recording with my PC. So I just recorded video on my PS5 just to see how it would work. And I was able to, you know, record the video. And so the best thing to do is record your video in 4K and then just come back later when you've got your whole setup and you, you, you can record and go ahead and just come to your media gallery, pop open a file, start recording and hit a video and you, you know you're good to go so I, i'm not gonna do that at the moment but uh you know that's that's just to show you that okay so hopefully i've covered all that okay cool another 15 minute video i love it um but you know hopefully this is saving other people pain and stress and tears because i l literally spent the whole day trying to figure out okay is it worth it to uh transcode or re-encode uh webm to a format that i can work with and then put into my video editor you can't see it because i've kind of cropped the screen but i have davinci resolve here on the bottom of my taskbar and, or is it easier to just 
start uh, playing from my media gallery and re-record. And, and honestly, that's my best solution or, or my, my recommendation for you or anyone else that has a capture card and wants to record your uh, PS5 gameplay on the go. If, if you don't necessarily have your full setup with you, you can definitely just record it keep it on your system i mean look i've already got half the system filled up but i'll, I'll be deleting about most of this uh, in the next day or two once i've started you know working on those videos and i've got uh you know n I'm, I'm confident that i don't need those files anymore anyway wow it's so easy to just film a super long video but hey uh, I feel like hopefully this is useful information for people that are trying to record an HDR and and or figure out the best way to record uh, PS5 or you know, well yeah at least this applies to PS5 I don't know how the Xbox Series X records how to record that kind of gameplay um, cool I'm gonna stop the video there before I get too much further into any other details I uh, hope that helps. I'll add supplementary information in the description. And uh, thank you. Peace. Hope you enjoy. You know, if you like the content, consider checking out my other stuff. Got plenty of good content coming out for, for Dark Souls. I mean, sorry, Demon Souls. Hey. And uh, Remake and on RPCS3. Got, got to finish those two series off. And then, like I said earlier, a lot of other cool stuff coming, coming through. All right. Thank you, guys. Hope you enjoy. If you did. Consider dropping a triple kill on that like button. Alright, peace.